In this video, we're going to look at how we describe a phase diagram. There are several key points that we've got to cover when we're given a description of a phase diagram. Firstly, we've got to define what the system is and what our components are. So for this exercise, I'm going to be using the example of the MNO AL203 system. So our components are MNO and AL203. Fine. We then need to specify any binary phases which exist within the system, give their composition, and describe their thermal stability. At what temperature do they melt? Do they have limits of stability? And so on. The final thing we need to cover is to give an indication of any invariant points, particularly eutectics and peritectics, and so on. So let's look at the example of the MNO AL203 system. So we have our two components, MNO, which melts here at 1785 degrees C, and AL203, which melts up here at 2050 degrees C. We have one intermediate phase, which is this MNO AL203 phase, or MNAL204, which melts congruently, directly to a liquid of the same composition, at 1850 degrees C. In this system, we have two eutectic points, E1 at around about 25 weight percent alumina, 1520 degrees C, and E2 here at around about 80 weight percent alumina and 1770 degrees C. So with all that information, we should be able to draw the diagram from scratch. So if you couldn't see the diagram, just from listening to my this description, you should be able to recreate the diagram. You won't get the shapes quite perfect, the, the shape of the liquidus, for example, might not be exactly correct, but the fundamental features of the diagram would be spot on.